This is a pre-recorded presentation on the topic of 208 Meander Road for the Planning Commission meeting of June 12, 2023. The applicant for this item is the City of Golden Valley, who are seeking the rezoning of an existing vacant parcel of land in order to redevelop the property into a single-family home as part of its home ownership program for equity. The property in question is located south of Highway 55 and west of Highway 100, just north off of Glenwood Avenue in the center of the city. Here we've provided an aerial photograph of the property from 2021. As can be seen, the property is currently undeveloped, but is located within a single family residential neighborhood and does have railroad tracks located to the east of the property, owned and operated by CP Rail. Below we have two images, one depicting the existing zoning of the property, which is currently institutional parks and natural areas, shown in green and then the future land use of the property, which was guided in the 2040 comprehensive plan towards low density residential. The lot in question is 13,604 square feet. It was platted originally in 1939 as part of the trolley edition. It was intended at that time to be developed as a single family home along with the rest of the neighborhood. Since that point, this has been zoned as either institutional or open space property going back to at least 1973, as shown in the land use plan from the 1982 comprehensive plan, um, which was also the year 1973 when the city acquired the property through tax forfeiture. The lot does have an irregular shape being 80 feet on the north side and 110 feet in depth on the south with a bowed front lot line that follows the curve of Meander Road. To the rear of the property is railroad right of way owned by Canadian Pacific as well as an overhead utility line owned by Excel Energy. This overhead utility does already have an associated easement in place that does intersect with a portion of the back half of the lot that would not otherwise impact uh, buildability due to rear setbacks. City Council has identified this and two other properties for the first round of HOPE, the Home Ownership Program for Equity, in the late spring of 2022. That program targets city controlled sites to develop homes affordable to households making 60 to 80% AMI. Here we have a view of the property when seen from Meander Road taken in October of 2020. As noted, this item tonight regards the zoning of the property. The city's proposal is to rezone this property from its existing institutional parks and natural areas designation to single family residential. When examining the purposes of these two zoning districts, institutional zoning has a purpose to establish areas where both public and private institutional uses, such as schools, hospitals, parks, golf courses, nursing homes, and public buildings may be located. For single family residential zoning, the purpose is to provide for a detached single family dwelling units at a low density along with directly related and complementary uses. The city zoning code does not set strict standards on what must be met in order to rezone a property and instead gives broad latitude to the Planning Commission and City Council to determine if a zoning map amendment is consistent with the purpose of the zoning code, with surrounding and adjacent uses, and with the city's comprehensive plan. The purpose of zoning, as called out in section 113-2 of the zoning code, is to regulate land use within the city, including the location, size, use, and height of buildings the arrangement of buildings on lots, and the density of population within the city for the purpose of promoting the health, safety, order, convenience, and general welfare of all citizens of the city. In comparing the two zoning districts, often we look at the types of permitted uses allowed under both zoning designations. The I-P institutional zoning principally allows for parks, public and private golf courses, and other recreational associated facilities. R-1, the single family zoning, allows for single family homes, foster family homes, and residential facilities serving six or fewer persons. When having initial discussions of Hope properties with parks and recreation staff here at the city, they noted that 208 Meander, while not currently developed in essentially an open green space, is not included in the city's park system or planned to be added in the future. Hence, it was made available for redevelopment as part of the city's public land disposition process. Given that this parcel was originally platted as part of a residential subdivision, and given the size would not likely be able to support any type of heavier residential uses besides a single family home, staff feels confident with this uh, permitted use of single family housing. In considering the compatibility with surrounding properties, staff notes that the majority of surrounding properties are zoned for single family housing, 
um, with examples of homes that were both uh, original to the 1950s, 1960s, and 70s, as well as more recent subdivisions and infill developments, such as homes to the north and along Cutcross Road. So I will also note that the railroad to the east typically has a typical frequency of 10 trips per week. Um, existing homes along both sides of that rail right of way lead staff to feel comfortable that the new home would not be overexposed to negative externalities from that rail use. Finally, the zoning amendment should consider its consistency with the goals and objectives of the city's comprehensive plan. As part of our land use plan for the city, this parcel was guided in 2018 for future use as low density residential. And as such, rezoning the property would bring the current and planned uses into better conformance. Secondly, staff will note that hope was created in part due to the recognition in the housing chapter of the comprehensive plan that the city lacked quality affordable housing options and due to the Twin City Metro's uh, wide gap in home ownership between white and BIPOC households. Staff would call attention specifically to the housing chapter and goal three of that chapter to increase housing affordability, increase housing opportunities at a cost that low and moderate income households can afford without compromising their ability to pay for other essential needs. Uh, some secondary objectives underneath that goal are to support the production of new high quality affordable housing in the city, to identify sites in Golden Valley and adopt land use policies that enable the city to meet the Metropolitan Council's affordable housing allocation requirements, and finally to support long term affordability of single family homes through home ownership programs and the community land trust model, which would be utilized in a potential redevelopment here. In addition to affordable housing goals, staff also feels this uh, rezoning meets with the third goal from the land use chapter of the comprehensive plan, promoting high quality development. Ensure that new development meets high construction and visual quality standards and includes measures of sustainability and includes the objectives of encouraging developments that respect their surroundings and recognize and support development patterns that acknowledge the character of suburban neighborhoods. Given its consistency with the zoning code's purpose, with surrounding properties, and with the city's long-range plans, staff would submit the following findings of fact supporting the rezoning. Firstly, that the city would benefit from utilizing the property for affordable single-family home as part of the HOPE program. Secondly, that the proposed zoning of R-1 returns the property to a residential use similar to when it was originally platted. Thirdly, that the proposed zoning would match the guided land use in the 2040 comprehensive plan, as well as that of surrounding properties. Fourth, that utilizing the site for affordable housing is in line with a number of goals and objectives from the comprehensive plan. And finally, that the parcel is not planned to be utilized as parkland in the city's long-term plans and has no other role in providing governmental services currently or planned. Given those findings, staff recommends approval of the amendment to the zoning map, changing the zoning for 208 Meander Road from institutional parks and natural areas to single-family residential.